largest crowd in the history of the Houston Rockets organization is on hand tonight on the summit. Over 16,000 for game number two as the Rockets play host to the Los Angeles Lakers. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Bender, and the Lakers have their work cut out for them. Since the miniseries started in 1975, only one team has been able to come back and win the miniseries after losing the first game at home. And, of course, that's what happened to Los Angeles. The Lakers have lost three games in a row. On the other hand, the Houston Rockets are rolling. They have won five of their last six games. With me is Bill Russell. And, Bill, we just showed what Moses Malone did on Wednesday night. But you and I were visiting before the game. They got to worry about more than Moses Malone. Well, the Lakers can have... can increased their uh, difficulty tonight by over concentrating on Moses Malone. He had a, a great game, and I stand one of the greater games I've ever seen anywhere by any player. But they have got to beat the Houston team, and the only way they're going to do that is they have to get control of the tempo of the game. They have to get out and run their ball and force it, and they can't just take what the uh, Rockets leave over. So they've got to take, the, take over and take charge of this game if they're going to win it and not worry, be overly concerned with one player. We understand the Lakers are going to make an adjustment to get further on that story. Let's join now Rick Barry. You've made a change in your lineup. You've got Michael Cooper starting in the forward position. Now, what changes, obviously there are some, have you made for this game? Well, the major adjustment we're trying to make, Rick, is that we must play at a fast pace. And we're hopeful that Mike, uh, playing defense for us, will create some offense. Most certainly, when we get the ball, we're going to be able to get out and go uh, with four fast players. And we just think that it's paramount that the game be played in a much quicker uh, pace than we did last game. We thought that was a significant reason why we didn't win, and we're going to turn that around right from the start. Okay, well, your strategy in the first game was to not put Kareem on Moses. With this lineup, you, of course, are forced to have Kareem guard Moses. What are you going to try to have him attempt to do? Well, we're going to try and put more pressure on the ball, closing off the passing lane to Kareem uh, and to Moses. We're going to have Moses just play him tough and straight up, and we're going to get some people down in to help when the pass comes to Moses. What about Calvin Murphy? He really hurt you in the last game coming off the bench. We're not going to get down off Calvin. He's an exception. We're going to stay up on him. Right, well, good luck, Paul. I know it's a big one. Gary? Bill, there's been a lot said about some problems chemistry-wise on this ball club, about Magic Johnson and the fact that he came back and he hasn't fit in very well. How do you view that? Well, that is the least of their problems tonight. Chemistry uh, is important, but tonight they've got to work hard. Now, what uh, Coach Westhead has done is change the lineup to increase the speed and uh, to try to get a, a transition game so that it's going to be a lot better. Now. We gotta wait and see if it's gonna work though. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Rick now with Coach Dell Harris. Dell, obviously, uh, you don't want to change things the way they happened in the last game. Uh, what did you tell the guys before this one? Well, it's mainly a player's game tonight. We've already tipped off what our game plan is. Obviously, we got to stay with the same thing, and so uh, it's going to be a, a matter of asserting ourselves uh, on the defense and on the rebounding, and uh, the best man's going to win it. Moses now is going to have Kareem guarding him. They're going with a smaller lineup. Uh, do you think this will cause any problems for well, him? Well, we're going to try to go with our strength first, and we'll just see who forces the other to adjust first. I mean, whether it's going to be their speed that forces us or our strength that forces them to make an adjustment. Well, good luck. I know this is a big game for you. And let's go to Gary for the starting lineups. All right, let's take a look now at the starting lineups. For the Lakers, there's that change. Magic Johnson will be starting at the guard, but Cooper will be moving it forward in place of Jim Jones. Abdul Jabbar in the middle. Wilkes, who did not have a rebound in that game Wednesday night, starting at the other forward spot. It's Paul Westhead's crew down one game to none in this best of three series for the Houston Rockets. That's the five that opened Wednesday, and what a performance they got out of each one of those individuals. As Coach Dell Harris called that victory Wednesday night, the best in the history of this franchise. The man in charge of tonight's game will have Jake O'Donnell, Paul Mahalik on the left, the alternate in the middle is Hugh Evans. And the two big men who had such an outstanding one-on-one -on -one confrontation Wednesday ready to go. And sometimes, Bill, you make changes like this in playoffs. Can that backfire on you? Yes, they can. If you over-adjust to a situation, then it because your team is out of their rhythm, too. And so what you've got to do is make an adjustment so that you can maintain the kind of game that you want to play. You see, now, what they've done now, they've changed it so they're a much quicker team. 
uh, the Lakers are with uh, Magic Johnson will probably play a, a great deal of time at forward, although they have Michael Cooper listed for it. gives them a lot of speed, and what they will be able to do is that transition game uh, may be important. That foul was on Dunleavy, who ran into the pick. Look at Kareem backing out on Pulse. Now, I don't care how many times they change the line, but what they do, the key to this ball game as far as the Lakers are concerned is the way Kareem Abdul Jabbar plays tonight. They would like to get Billy Pulse off of Kareem, wouldn't they, with a matchup and keep Moses off, and that's what they start the game with. There's a rebound by Kareem who had 15 rebounds on Wednesday night, but this team, the Lakers, is out rebounded by 11 boards. They've been out-rebounded in every game that they played against Houston this year. Norm Nixon, who had 22 Wednesday. Well, he, this is one of the key guys for that team, too. Uh, he did not have, for him, it was a good game on Wednesday night. Although, if you look at the stats, they came out pretty good. He's an outstanding player. And that's what the Lakers are going to have to do, get control of the boards. And they, so far, they started off pretty good, but they started off pretty good the other night. With that on the board, too. They had the lead early in that game of the forum. Here's Nixon looking for his second field goal. And all of a sudden, it's six to nothing Los Angeles. Dell Harris is up and already concerned. And look at that Laker bench. They're all up cheering the players on. Pat Riley, Paul Westhead. They are really pumped for this basketball game. And they've come out at the gate firing. They're playing good basketball. Different Laker team, Bill. Now, the only thing you have to worry about is, is uh, it's starting out a little too quick. And, and they get the mostly high and then running out again. to deny him that basketball, but Bill, that's tough to do. 6-2. Lakers in the lead. Kareem answers at the other end, and I think this big guy has a fire in his eye tonight. I almost said it. <laughs> I almost said he came to play. <laughs> no, you wouldn't say that, Bill. <laughs> I might have thought it, but I, I, I got a little self-control that time. 8-2. The Lakers with the early advantage. Kelly Paul said 15 points in 10 rebounds. Henderson. But that's okay. That's what they have to do. If they're, if they're going to lose, they should lose with Tom Henderson having to make jump shots, not with Moses Malone scoring baskets from in close. Henderson not the scorer on this team. Michael Cooper. Robert Reed with the rebound. Reed who was very instrumental in that win. He had nine rebounds and 13 points. The yeah, Houston no. team had a great team effort. Something they just demonstrated. Uh, they have Billy Park on Cooper. And there's no way he can guard Cooper. Now, Bill, that's what we talk about. The defense that the Lakers get to be able to and get those steals, get their fast break going, get that running game going. They don't always do it because they don't control the boards. Right. They do it with steals. Cooper, even though he's playing the forward, is coming up defensively at a guard spot. Billy Pulse, rebound, Magic Johnson, and they're not getting the follow shots. And you wonder where Moses Malone has been the first couple of minutes as this Laker team has really boxed him out well. 10-4, Los Angeles. Cooper at 10 points on Wednesday night, backing up. And now they have uh, Moses Malone on, on, on Cooper. Look at the pushing inside. Billy Pulse at 6-11 against Kareem. And there's Moses battling Dunleavy. And it's off to Henderson. And that's what Moses Malone did Wednesday night. He keep that ball in play, either coming away with it or getting some help from his teammates. Robert Reed off to Billy Pulse, playing his 11th straight year in a playoff. Rebound, Magic Johnson. Magic an excellent game rebounding wise he had 11 in this other contest game number one three out to Nixon Jamal Wilkes rebound Billy Pulse and he's fouled in the backcourt by Michael Cooper I'll tell you one thing Jamal's shot was never came close to the basket he went right over the top of it I guess he's probably a little pumped up and I've seen that happen Bill you're so excited you want so badly to win that you shoot the ball a little bit too hard, you're doing things with a little bit too much effort. You have to be fluid and smooth out there. I'm sure Silk will get it back in, but the Lakers have come out running. They've done more running early in this game than they did the whole last game almost. The NBA. Paul Westhead trying to direct his troops to end a three-game losing streak. They lost the last two games of the regular season of play and, of course, losing Wednesday night. On the other hand, the Rockets, who are in a desperate situation, won four of their last five in the regular season of play to just slip in as the sixth team in the Western Conference and then added that good Wednesday. Billy Pulse at the line. You have an interesting matchup. You have Magic Johnson guarding Billy Pulse, and Billy Pulse... Uh, is normally a, a NBA center, which is a pretty good size. 
But it does create problems for the Rockets on the other end because uh, they're mismatched in terms of speed defensively. Bill, don't they want to get Moses on Kareem, though? Isn't that what they're trying to do with some of this? Right. And another thing they're trying to do, uh, what the Rockets are trying to counter this speed, the way they're trying to counter it is uh, put pressure in the backcourt. To try to pressure Norm Nixon to really bring the ball up so that uh, their guys can have, have a chance to slow for the guys or have a chance to get back defensively. That shot that Michael Cooper made is a shot he'll get all night as long as Moses is guarding him. He is not coming out to guard him. He's dropping back in the middle. And he really is zoning up, Bill Russell, not coming out at all. Cooper with his first two points on that jumper from outside. And that foul is going on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, Moses did a good packing job there. Whatever which he did, is, it paid is, off. Yeah, which is part of this game. you got to do a little of that. Robert Reed with a power move. Reed again. Excellent hustle, and we have traveling on Reed. Robert Reed trying to follow his own shot. That'll turn it back to Los Angeles. Today in that game Wednesday night, very few turnovers, only 11 in the entire game by the Houston Rockets. They averaged 20 during their five contests in the regular season. Cooper, Kareem! And he has established some control early in this game. 14-5 now, the Lakers. Kareem, during the course of the season, averaged over 23 points a game against Houston at 21 on Wednesday night. And he was upset after that game. Not Levy. Cooper playing tough. They're going to drop off, and he can shoot the ball. And you see the bodies going after the ball. And that was not what was in evidence for the Lakers on Wednesday going to count that no 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 basket we waited we thought they might have something going on that as far as goaltending was concerned but Jake O'Donnell said no and it's 14-5 Reed off to Billy Paltz Magic staying with him that's a tough assignment but thus far Paltz not getting the shot to drop Norm Nixon Nixon who's had to make so many adjustments this year Going to a point guard, a scoring guard. Let's go back to that play a moment ago. Well, here's the lob pass going to be coming up right now with Magic Johnson with the ball. He lobs the ball to Cooper a little bit low. Cooper gets it. He hits the front of the rim with it. Now it just bounces around. There is really nothing to be called. Jake O'Donnell had the two fingers up, ready to signal it if it did go in. But right now, the Lakers are off to a flying start, leading by nine. Some of the future NBA greats will be in that game tomorrow. The all-star game as you look at Calvin Murphy who had 19 points coming off the bench did such a great job on Wednesday I wonder if those college players uh, get free pizzas <laughs> look at this that's what we were saying earlier Kareem has established control in the early going of this game he has four rebounds also six points 14-5 6-18 to go in this first quarter of play the Rockets leading this best of three series one game to none Bill Willoughby, who just checked in. Look at him get up. Willoughby tries to follow. He hits the deck to Norm Nixon. Michael Cooper, and there's that running game they did not have Wednesday night. That's a different Laker team, as we said earlier, Gary. They have really done a job getting on the boards, good defense getting the steals, and they're playing Laker basketball, Bill. Simple as That's that. Right. They've gotten it together, and they have to get it together. They'll be traveling on Moses Malone, and Houston right now a little lethargic. Uh, Rick? Now, what the Lakers have really done is they've taken control of the, of the situation, as you said, but they're doing it running. But they're hitting the board much better than any Lakers team I've seen in the last couple of years. And I would say this guy has come with a different intensity right now. He really came to play, right? <laughs> I like the way you said that, Gary, because I thought you were going to say he came to play. 18-5. <laughs> Kareem with eight points. And right now, the Lakers are moving. They look like the defending world champions at this point. Dunleavy. Houston not shooting a good percentage at all, and they're only getting one crack in the basket. Magic Johnson, out to Norm Nixon. Good ball movement. Magic, to Nixon again, and they are really wheeling it around. Reed, puts it down, and now the Rockets will slow it down. They very methodically were able to, just like a surgeon, go after the Lakers last time out, but this time their shots are not going down. Not a good shot that time in this situation. Cooper to Nixon, the intensity, the tempo, entirely different for the Lakers. Bill, you harped on this all Wednesday, and it's just amazing what a different team we're seeing right now in Los Angeles. Now, the only thing is they got it. it's going to be very difficult to maintain it because they were so high before the game started. Kareem, rebound, not leaving. And the, and the thing is, after the first 10 minutes, to see how, how, 
a letdown comes. There's going to be a letdown. How much of a letdown? That's going to be the problem. Reed, who hit a couple of big outside shots Wednesday, but that again is a long ways out there. I don't like that shot in this situation. You're down that many points trying to get something going, taking a 22-footer. Reed with two points, Malone with two, and Henderson with two. Kareem wants the basketball. The Magic Johnson. Magic, who's averaged 33 points a game in the last three contests, and they've lost all three of them. He had 41 points, a career high, just at the end of this regular season of play. Moses to Henderson. And a foul will go, a chance for a three-point play. A regular season career high. Here we see the play coming up again. Moses with the ball. You can see the concentration in all of the men defensively. A good cut down the middle that time by Henderson. He picks up the foul and gets the two points. And those are the type of things they've got to do because people are going to be dropping in. The guards have been dropping in every time on Moses to try to bother him, not allow him to get off. That's going to leave other people open. And those are the type of cuts that must be made. You see, what normally a team will do, well, when they're double teaming, they will take the jump shot. And that's not the correct shot. The correct shot is move without the ball. And simply, if you don't make the shot, at least you get a, a free throw. Nixon in the Magic. Tough shot. Rebound, Reed. Green reaching in on him. Robert Reed, six foot eight, out of St. Mary's. Calvin Murphy checked in. Rebound by Magic. Same thing, a little pumped up. He shot it too hard. Well, he started that way Wednesday night, you might recall. He missed a couple early, and then he started to find the mark and went on to a 19-point effort. Michael Cooper. Going to direct the attack. Off it comes to Kareem. Moses trying to stay on him. That's that finger roll that he used Wednesday night so well. Henderson. The Reed. And that ignites this crowd here. Better than 16,000. Nixon at the other end, and they have it back as quick as you can describe. Well, they can't play that kind of game with the Lakers. They're not going to win if they just go down and try to break themselves and don't get the good transition and get into that up and down game. There are only one or two teams can play the Lakers when they're in a transition game. And neither one of them are here tonight. Calvin Murphy, Cooper on him. Little 5'9 guard. A little bit of difficulty. The foul and a foul. Now somebody got hit on that particular play. Either, either Kareem stepped in or, or Murphy charged. But they didn't call a foul. Now let's watch the play right now. Calvin will get the ball. See him in the slow motion move. Get a little fake with the ball. He gets Cooper out of position. He goes by him. Now watch, he's going to crash right into Kareem. Kareem's right there. He lands on top of Kareem. Kareem looked like he might have turned. Could have been a block. No call. It's going to be the rocket ball when we come back. Winning the Masters. <laughs> well, I, I just shot a 7-8. I didn't say it was a Riviera. I shot a pitch in front court. <laughs> and Rick, you're wearing a green coat, too. That's because it's the only way I can get one. Moses Malone has only two points. Moses Malone in the game Wednesday night had 23 points in that first half. He's really having to work for it now. All right, here's Moses one-on-one -on -one going against Kareem. Kareem respecting the outside shot. He puts it on the floor and just makes a simple move going that way. Kareem lets him go. Picks up the foul. That's his second foul. They were supposed to try to force Moses to his left. They said that the six times he went to his left, he missed the shot. They didn't want him to go right, but that time Kareem did not overplay the right hand, and he paid the price for it. I think when Moses makes up his mind to do something, I'm not sure you could force him to do anything. What the Lakers have done to start the game tonight, they are playing confrontation basketball. You know the first game they were trying to keep Kareem from guarding Moses? And, then, and, and what they've gone through tonight is, okay, give us your best shot. Reed reaching in and committing the personal foul. Now look at all of the company Kareem gets to go with him once he gets to the middle. Here's Moses guarding. Now Robert Reed will come over and join the uh, party. Here comes Willoughby. He tries to get into the picture, and Reed picks up the foul. And that's a silly foul, Bill. I mean, Robert Reed's not going to block Kareem's jump foul. That's Reed's first, the team's second foul. As at the line, Kareem. Talking about establishing a game, the Lakers have gotten inside and scored eight baskets inside the 12-foot area so far in this game. The Rockets have only one inside basket, so the Lakers have done an outstanding job of keeping them outside. Two minutes to go in this first quarter of play. Henderson with Nixon on him. Calvin Murphy. Cooper, the outstanding defensive player he is, is staying with him. Moses Malone. Oh, that's one of those power moves. Malone now with five points. 23-14, the Lakers. Nixon, up 
to Kareem. Look at the pushing in there. Rebound Malone, and all of a sudden now, Malone's starting to appear. He's starting to do the things that we saw so impressively. We got a break that time. Jamal Wolfs had an easy tap, and he just missed time this jump. Nobody screened him off the board, so a lucky break for the Rockets. Wolfs played 42 minutes Wednesday night and didn't get a rebound. Here's Robert Reed. Nixon. And here they go. Lakers trying to step up the tempo, and Nixon. Boy, he can pull up with that jumper in a hurry. Bill, you know, right. For certain players, a shot like that, like Norm Nixon, that's a good shot. For well, Robert, Reed, good shot. For Robert that's Reed, it's not a good shot in that situation. Calvin Murphy, it would have been a good shot. The shooters, it's okay to take that open shot from 18-20, but not a guy who's not as good a shooter. And Reed is not that good a shooter from outside. Nixon already with 10 points in the game. Willoughby. Bill Willoughby, who's found a new home here in the Lone Star State. Call him the son of Plumber because he could jump so well. He just starts up and keeps going. Now the crowd starting to sense that maybe Houston putting it together. Willoughby, he won't test Kareem. As now, and Willoughby has given this team a lift, hitting two back to back shots with 20 seconds to go in this first quarter. In that situation, he's 15 feet from the basket. They're not going to respect him. He's made one. Hey, take the other one. Say, next time you better come out and guard me. The Lakers now going for the last shot of this first quarter. Murphy trying to stay on Nixon. The wave over Moses Clark and Malone with a foul. A foul on Moses Malone with two seconds left in this first quarter. Now watch Kareem on this one. Moses gets a little bit too deep. The ball bounces out. Kareem goes straight up and gets it. Takes it back up strong. Robert Reed gets the basketball. Moses never touched Kareem. Now, I don't know where the foul came against Moses on that one. If anybody fouled him, it might have been Robert on the hand. Well, they're now seeing Willoughby. Now, where would Willoughby have come away with that? Well, uh, Willoughby was somewhere in there. I never saw him even in the picture. Must anyway. have given him a little push. We'll check that to be absolutely sure, but we've been handed the fact that it was Willoughby that committed the foul. With two seconds to go in this first quarter. Kareem makes it 26-18. And a 20-second timeout now by the Houston Rockets. One thing, Bill, is that in a situation like that, when you get down and the clock is running down, and a man like Kareem is going up for a shot in that situation, it's such a silly thing to try and go up and block his shot. I mean, your defense is really done. I mean, if, if you were in the game, I could see someone like you trying to block it, but, but not the forwards. Because they're going to foul. They're not going to block his jump shot. Unless they, unless he, uh, like they right the don't shot the other night when they come from the blind side and have a good move. But when they stand next to him, that's not, not much of a chance. Well, we have confirmed that it was on Willoughby, the foul. And I'm like you, I did not see him in that replay, but he did commit the personal foul. The shooting in the early going, to show you how Houston is struggling, they're shooting only 26%. Let's see if we can pick up Willoughby now in this picture. Again, Moses gets a little deep. There's Willoughby right there, okay, the bottom. Now Kareem's going to go up. Let's see what Willoughby does on this play. And Kareem goes back up. He reaches in. Okay, right there. Well, when he made that one little reach in, he must have barely touched Kareem on the arm or something. But two seconds. Intercepted by Cooper. And that's going to end our first 12 minutes of play here in the summit in Houston. The Los Angeles Lakers with a 27-18 lead over Houston. The NBA on CBS will continue after this word from your local station. The 76ers wasted no time eliminating Indiana 96-85 at victory last night in Indianapolis. And at halftime, we'll be joining Brent Musburger. He will update that, give us highlights of the game and what's happening throughout the NBA tonight. 27-18. We start the second quarter of play. The Lakers with the lead. Murphy into Moses Malone. Jim Jones, number nine, is checked in, playing defensively on Moses, and Moses takes him inside, and he has a chance for a three-point play. Well, so much for letting him not go to his left. Uh, he went to his left that time. He came up with a three-point play. Uh, Rick, but when he put the ball on the floor, the, the, that's when the guards are attacking. Right there, you saw Magic starting to screen off instead of going to attack, and you saw that Jones was overplaying the right side. That's right. why he was beaten. Now, if you're a defensive player and you're going to do that, your teammates must give you support right. to the side that you're weakest at. That time, there was no support. Right, he should have. Any time the big guy put the ball on the floor going in the middle, he should never come up with it. Moses, who hit... Without bleeding, that is, right. Who hit very well from the free throw line Wednesday nights, missed a couple of free throws here. Seven-point lead. Chance to cut it to five. The Houston Rockets' Allen Level is in the game. He had a fine performance Wednesday night. Level is able to drop it. Level on Wednesday night had eight assists. 
27-22, and after this fast start by Los Angeles, all of a sudden Houston now has started to whittle it down. Reed runs over Cooper, no harm, no foul. Jamal Wilkes, that was Level, who reached in. Level with the ball, he kicked it. Picked up by the Lakers. And you can see that Houston now seemingly has gotten some of their boys back. They've gotten over the early jitters of this game. Cooper, that basket will not count. Charging. Looks like he may have pushed off on the move inside. Well, we've seen a lot of those calls uh, this season in the NBA. You start to put the left hand out there to protect yourself, and if contact is made, they seem to be making the call against the offensive player. And right there, you saw the contact. It didn't look like he pushed him off. He was just trying to protect himself so the man couldn't block the shot, which is perfectly normal. Boy, can that Willoughby get up. You could just see it on that particular play. He was up there intimidating that particular play. Allen Level trying another shot. Magic Johnson with another rebound. He's done a good job on the defensive boards. Nixon, that's goaltending. What a pass that time. Right on the money. That was a super lead pass that time by Magic to Nixon, and Robert Reed pinned the ball after it had hit the glass. And that's another uh, glimpse of uh, the versatility of the exact rebound, strong rebound, and, and ran a break and made a good pass. That's and nice usually don't... Uh, connect the good rebound with the, with the maybe they able to make a soft pass. Exactly. It's a good combination to have. Calvin Murphy having a tough time shaking Michael Cooper. Is he getting his shot? That was a terrible level. Magic to Cooper and he's fouled. That basket's good. Yes, that's, that's a big count. play. And what happened on that play, that play was made by Magic Johnson. You can see the high fives and the Lakers are pumped up. Well, that was a little bit fast for us to comment. <laughs> <laughs> I talk fast, fellas, in the truck, but not that fast. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> you mentioned that high five. You know, there was none of that Wednesday night for the Lakers. But here they've come out, and there's a different, just a different feeling about it. But again, it was Magic who made it. And what he did that time, Billy, did what he didn't do the last time. He dropped from the weak side when the right. cut was made by Level, which was the right move by Level to make in the Rockets. But it was just super defense by the part of Magic Johnson from the weak side. Well, after whittling it down, all of a sudden now the Lakers are back on top by 10, 32 to 22. Inside, 10 minutes to go in this first half. Moses Malone, power move. Magic seems to be starting all these breaks now. The Jones. Los Angeles, they want to return home in game three to where they're playing right now. 34-22, Houston has asked for a timeout. As again, the Lakers look like the Lakers you would expect. The team that's running the ball so very, very effectively, they now have scored seven unanswered points and have a 34-22 lead. Coming your way, we'll know more after this game is over. 34-22, nine and a half minutes to go, quarter number two, seven unanswered points by the Lakers. Calvin Murphy, Willoughby, up to level. There's Murphy trying to shake inside, and he gets away with it. And I think he gets away with it. He just disappeared as he cut down the middle. 34-24, back to a 10-point lead for the Lakers. Houston's had a tough time at home this year. They have not been as effective as you might expect. 25 wins and 16 losses. Moses Malone with authority, and now a chance to cut it to eight points. Get the idea, LA's gonna really rip this one open and Houston comes back very methodically, methodically and chips away at it. Up it comes to Malone. On Jim Jones, he's fouled and that'll count. Moses really working on Jim Jones since he's been in there. Well, here's Moses again, one on one. You see Nixon come in to try to help out. Kareem comes over, but he can't get over in time. Jones right across the right forearm of Moses Malone. The ball crawls up and in. A chance for another three-point play for Moses. But he missed the last free throw on that opportunity. Jim Jones, the only player on this Los Angeles team that played in all 82 games. In fact, he's now played in 528 consecutive games. Second only for Randy Smith of Cleveland. That's going to be a foul on Allen Level. Level trying to stop Thor Nixon at the half-court line. Now, what they're trying to do is put a lot of pressure on the ball, bringing it up so that they can slow the pace down. And that's the reason for the backcourt violation. Uh, he overdid it that time, trying to get the offensive foul. But what they're doing is they're trying to slow the Lakers down so that they don't run up before you get a chance to have the defense. Two free throws coming. 
in this quarter, the only Laker miss was Kareem Skyhook. That's the only miss they've had so far in this quarter. The Los Angeles Lakers trying to repeat as world champions. The last time that was able to occur was in 1969 when Bill Russell was player coach of the Boston Celtics. 12 years ago. You're making me feel old. Well, you don't look a day older. 36-27. Unusual shot by Malone. Green. Up to Jones. And now Norm Nixon. That time Houston getting back on defense. Willoughby again with a rebound. A young man out of Inglewood, New Jersey, and he has played so well in these two games. Haven't heard a lot about him. He was signed as a free agent November 28th after being out of basketball last season. Level looking for some help. Here's Calvin Murphy. Murphy's really having a tough time shaking Cooper. Willoughby has hit a couple from there. Three-pointer this time. Billy Pulse, the big guy, pushes it in. 6'11". 240 pounder Billy Pulse. Well, that's only his first field goal of the game, Gary. He got off to a real good start both on the boards and scoring in that game in LA. And I think he was one of the big factors in the Rockets' success. He's really leaning into Kareem as he's trying to keep him from going inside to no avail. Kareem now has 13 points in this game. 14 for Nixon as they lead as a one-two punch for Los Angeles in this first half. Again, Houston trying to set it up very methodically as it goes to Moses, back door behind Jones, Jones to the block. Cooper, Cooper runs over a defender and he's gonna be called for charging. Allen Level was decked as Cooper released the ball but he couldn't stop his momentum. What he said that Billy Paul pushed him on the play. Well, let's see if we can pick that push up as the Lakers come out running again, something that they established early in this ball game, playing their game. Cooper with the nice play, and make the nice pass. Now right there is Paul. Uh, Paul's game a little shove right there. He sure did help him a little bit on that play, but the referee didn't pick it up. But it'll be Rockets ball. Lakers 38-29. With Bill Russell and Rick Barry, I'm Gary Bender. That last. Play. Michael Cooper picking up the foul is his third. He's the first to get into any foul difficulty with 6.59 to go in the second quarter. And the Lakers are going uh, beyond that uh, six man into uh, Eddie Jordan. Jordan. There's the foul difficulty with three. Cooper sitting down. Eddie Jordan, the man who was playing about 15 to 20 minutes a game, and then when Magic came back, his game time was cut all the way down from 5 to 10 again. That's about right. Jordan is in. Number 15 on Allen Level. 38-29. Calvin Murphy. Magic on in. Murphy for that quick move. Again, it, he stops and pulls up for the shot probably as quick as anybody that's ever played the game. Well, the interesting thing is Cooper wasn't on him then and he had a shot. He hasn't had one when Cooper's been in there. Jamal Wilk. Well, Oh. Hey, Jamal, it fits. He's beginning to wonder. Jamal now with two points. He had 16 on Wednesday. He used to run a clinic during the season for these fellas, shooting 64%. Murray with a rebound. Level body was fouled. Eddie Jordan out of Rutgers. Picked up from New Jersey this year. That will be off of... Wait a minute. Jake O'Donnell said first it was off of Los Angeles. That Houston will have the ball. Paul Mahalik, the outside official, uh, helping on that call. Now, in that case, Brewer should have slowed down, and a bounce pass would have been perfect for an easy layup. Brewer ran too fast, and the pass was thrown up high where everybody's arms can get in the way. Boy, that looks easy. It oh, might look easy. And and here's the play he made. He just turned away. He got himself, or he got a pick from Magic Johnson. And uh, Allen Level never switched off to stop his movement. Murphy missing at the other end. Brewer playing in this game after playing only one minute in Wednesday's game. Magic, level comes out. Magic yelling for some help. Off to Jamal Wilkes. Wilkes, now after hitting that first one, comes back again. Brewer, high, couldn't get it. Billy Paul. Level to Murphy. Murphy blocked in a foul. Jim Brewer comes away with a personal foul. With Kevin Murphy, a couple of things about a guy like him. First of all, you've got to make him go left. And you have to anticipate, because if you wait till he shoots, it's too late. And he always jumps into you when he goes in for layup. 
Well, that time Brewer jumped into him a little bit and caught him with the elbow on the side of the head, but Calvin looks like he's okay. Oh, he's okay. Thing, There's no doubt about it. For 10 years or so, they've been telling him you can't let Calvin go to his right, but yet he keeps going to his right. Again at halftime, we'll be going to Brent Musburger. He'll give us the highlights of that Portland-Kansas City game, a look at last night's game, Philadelphia, wrapping up that miniseries against the Indiana Pacers. Calvin Murphy hits that one. Well, Jim Brewer, they want him in there for his offensive board, something they just could not get last Wednesday. They had only 11 in the entire game. And 45% of his rebounds come on that offensive end. Calvin Murphy looks like he has something in his eye. And I think he wants a timeout for that very reason. I don't know if he has contact lenses or what he has. No, he doesn't. If he does, if he does he's kept it a well-guarded secret. Hey, what, what is that? Vanity that keeps you from doing that? I'm surprised. I don't know that the officials stopped the game to do that. I, I don't understand that. I don't know either. I was wondering how they do that without calling timeout. And then you can't do it with the other team holding the ball. It's playoff time, man. Kareem. That's a long ways out for the big guy. Then they fall to the rebound. 42, 33, 5, 11 to go. Second quarter. And the Rockets are hailing tough. Uh, the Lakers are playing real good, and they're still right in this basketball game, so the, the Lakers have to be careful. Murphy couldn't get the shot off. Good ad lib job on his part. Billy Paul, six seconds on the shot clock. Tough shot. Well, that time Murph went to his left, uh, and he throws those kinds of shot up floating. As I said, he's one of the best floating shooters the game's ever seen. Alvin Murphy, what a tremendous job. He has eight points, 42-35. He had 19 Wednesday, averaging 16 for the air. That is off of Houston, I guess. Crowd didn't like that one at all. Here we go again. Paul's on Kareem. He'll put it on the floor. Murphy will attack him from outside. You probably see him coming to your picture right there. And Kareem just lost the basketball. That ball should have been a rocket ball. So this crowd of better than 16,000, the largest ever to be here in the summit for the Rockets game. Did not like the call. Kareem against Billy Paul. Will it be with a rebound? The Calvin Murphy. Murphy to Billy Paul. Murphy has his team rolling right now. He's picked him up. He's creating things out there. He did the same thing for him in Los Angeles. Although they get off to a better start, he came in and gave him in a bigger lift, and this time he's helped to ignite them again. That's his five points, 32 37, and the crowd is now alive. Jamal Wilkes, rebound the ball, but a foul. Reaching in on the drive, Bill Willoughby. He commits his second first goal. Boy, is this place noisy? Well, that'll happen if you get 16,000 people in who care a little bit. Unfortunately, the Rockets haven't been able to do that all that often in years, in many years they've been down here. Their largest crowd, as you pointed out, Gary, in their history. Jamal Wilkes at the line. That is the third team foul against the Rockets. Also, three against Los Angeles. I'll tell you, the foul situation, the first quarter, Houston was two of five. Los Angeles had a tough time Wednesday night missing some big free throws, and here Wilkes is hitting one of two. Well, hey, they win the game the other night if they make their free throws in the fourth quarter. 43-37, Calvin Murphy. Now, that time Billy Paul set a screen. The man guarding the man doing the screening has got to jump out, especially on a great shooter like Murphy. You can't give him that kind of shot. Well, it was a Moses Malone show Wednesday night. Now Calvin Murphy has his own show going right now. Murphy, just spectacular. Ten point. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Nixon trying to take Murphy inside. Tough shot. Out it comes to Calvin Murphy. Moses Malone is there. Malone. 43 to 41. It's a two-point game. And Los Angeles has committed a foul. A chance for a three-point play. And just like you pointed out, Bill, as we watch the play come here, here's the rebound. Paul tips it out, keeps it alive. Murphy cuts it off. The Rockets are coming back, and the Lakers have had a letdown, and that's what you warned them about early in the game. Here comes the foul. Malone carries it through, lays it in the basket. Chance to cut it to a one-point game. The Lakers let down. The Rockets hung tough, and now it's a new ball game. Now, this is where the Lakers are really up against it, where they have, they cannot let... Oh, the last few minutes, the Rockets have had control of the tempo. They've slowly but surely taken control of the tempo of the game. Now, this is where the Lakers will have to pick it up again and, and try to regain control. They're not going to regain it with uh, the big guy dribbling it up there. 
Massachusetts, Bill Moses Malone has missed three free throws. 43-41, there's a foul on Dunleavy, reaching around on Magic Johnson. Boy, you talk about momentum switching in this game. Los Angeles off, looking like they'd run away with it. And the one thing that the Rockets did, they've also gotten some good break opportunities against the Lakers, so they didn't do it completely with a slow-down game. Look at Dunleavy, underneath the chin of Magic, and there'll be a foul on Billy Paltz. Billy Paltz has committed the foul. Well, here you see the physical contact inside in that center position. There's Kareem battling for his spot. There's Paltz reaching over. He reaches over the back that time and commits and, uh, the foul. Will and Willoughby be... reached in from down on the side. So let me see. They called that on Willoughby. It was Willoughby who picked up the foul. Boy, he's really been he, sneaks, he, sne he sneaks in there on us, but we don't even see him sometimes. That time Bill picked him up. Well, that's three on Willoughby. Makes it 44-41. So Willoughby with three. Michael Cooper with three fouls. That's the only foul difficulty thus far in the game. It's very important from the Lakers standpoint that they try to jump back out and pick up and get five, seven, eight points, maybe even ten if they could ahead in these last three minutes to try to kill that instinct that the Rockets have that they can come back against this Laker team. Not to let them think that they can have life, that they can play tough against the, you know, the defending world champions. It's important psychologically. Now they have changed the foul back to Billy Paltz. He must have looked at Tony Berners replay. Anyway, Paltz did pick up the foul. His first, Willoughby now has two. I didn't see him, I gotta be honest, but I was beginning to wonder if Willoughby had one earlier that was tough to see. Don Levy to Calvin Murphy. Rebound Paltz. 45, 43, two-point game again. That's what they did so well Wednesday night. The multiple shots on the offensive board. Magic Johnson to Jamal. Look at Willoughby. He almost blocked that shot. If Jamal had not taken a fadeaway shot, Willoughby would have had that one. Jamal Wilkes now with five points. 47-43. Two and a half minutes to go at halftime. We'll be sending it to New York to join Brent Musburger. Don Levy. He walked with the ball. Don Levy dragged his foot when he tried to haul on the baseline area. Los Angeles... We'll have the ball. That is the third turnover in this game against the Houston Rockets. 47-43 with 2.19 to go until halftime. There's the statistics with 2.19 to go in this first half of play. Again at halftime, Brent Musburger with highlights of Portland, Kansas City. And look at that Philadelphia win over the Indiana Pacers. One thing, Gary, this game's been turned around. The Rockets have finally established an inside game. They have eight baskets inside that 12-foot area in this quarter to only five for the Lakers. So there's been a big turnaround there, and the score has indicated it. 47-43, Nixon off to Jamal Wilkes. Willoughby picking him up top. Kareem, Jamal blocked by Moses Malone. Let's see if it's Malone committing a personal foul. That's who it is. Yeah, good help by Kareem on the, on the offensive board there. You see Paul that time push Kareem a little bit inside? Well, he pushes him the whole game. He doesn't get called for all of them. But one thing that's interesting, Gary, Magic Johnson has only two points in his basketball game. But he's playing well. He's playing well, but they, can, they still need to have some of his scoring. And I think the fact that he didn't establish himself during that time when they get off well uh, could have hurt them hurt their chances for having a 10 or a 12 point lead at this stage of the game because he does help them a great deal offensively not only passing it all but scoring some points penalty and that was a 15 foul against Houston well, that's and uh, Jamal Wilkes is having a hard time that interesting you shoot so well you have your best shooting year then you get to the playoffs and it deserts you all of a sudden I'm leaving magic on him Calvin Murphy, who gave him a spark, that was blocked by Nixon, and Nixon is guilty of the foul. He's pleading his case with Jake O'Donnell, but that'll be to no avail. No, no. But Jake O'Donnell is good. He just got life. Nixon <laughs> with his second. With no reprieve. You've been there before. No parole, huh? No parole. That is also the 15th foul against Los Angeles, so the penalty end on both sides. I don't think he's going to need the penalty, Chuck. 
That amazing 78 straight this guy hits this year, a new NBA record, breaking our colleague's record, Rick Barry. Also, a new statistic as far as percentages are concerned, .958, a new NBA record. 48-45, Nixon with Murphy on it. Jones, picked up by Moses Malone. Malone playing with one personal foul, Magic Johnson. So he's got um, John Levy on him and uh, He's just taking him inside and posting him up. Well, you've got 6'9 going against 6'3. Big advantage. Here's Don Levy. The Billy Pulse. Pulse against Magic. Kareem puts it down. Up to Magic Johnson. One minute, five seconds to go in the first half. Jamal Wilkes. And he walked to the ball. Wilkes trying to jockey inside. Travels with it. And Jim Jones was wide open when Jamal made that little move and stutter step with it. He dropped it off to him. Jones had a dunk. I think he said it well. Jamal's struggling a little bit now. Not Levy. Moses Malone. The crowd thought he was pushed that time by Jones. And Moses just can't get that ball to drop for him. He's missed some shots that he was hitting Wednesday night. High point lead for Los Angeles. There's Jamal. Still deserting his shooting game. Kareem took on the whole Houston team that time. That was not an easy shot that he took either. I guarantee you that. A finger roll fading away. They didn't have to give a, a warning, a delay of game. Jamal took a shot after that shot was made to make sure it would go in for him. 52-45. Moses Malone, who had 23 points the first half Wednesday, has only 12 here tonight. Calvin Murphy. And he's fouled as he makes his move on the baseline. Murphy has been the guy that has kept Houston rolling in the last seven minutes of this first half. He will go to the line. A foul going against Jones, and now Jones has three. Both Cooper and Jones with three personal. Now with Murphy, Escalar with 12 points. He along with Malone with scoring honors for this Houston team. Boy, he's something to watch the free throw line. Rick, you were talking about he has such a short shot. He doesn't extend it very much. Well, he's like a golfer. He's so short golfer. He's so compact. He has not much room for error because his arm does not move very far when he goes into the shooting rhythm, and he is just uncannily accurate with his shot. 52, 47. With eight seconds, the last shot of this first half. The ball takes Robert give him a little confidence to take into the dressing room with him. And so at halftime, the Lakers lead it 54 to 47 at halftime. We'll be joining Brett Musburger in New York as he will give us an update on what's happening. It was a night for overtime around the NBA. The New York Knicks went into Chicago, 20,000 fans on hand in the stadium. The Knicks had to win to stay alive. We pick it up tied at 98 all. Down the stretch, the Bulls went through the big man about two out of every three plays, only this time, Artis Gilmore is short. The Knicks bring it off. We're tied at 98. The ball goes to Michael Richardson. Defensive error at the other end by Chicago. Watch Richardson seize the daylight, go in for the layup. He's fouled and he makes the three-pointer. It's 101-98. The Knicks are ahead. Now we are tied again at 102. Watch Ricky Silvers come over on Campy Russell in this sequence. Come in from behind him, almost steal the ball. Campy regains it. Shot clock is running out. Campy short on the shot. Watch Webster underneath. And it's 104-102, the Knicks. But then the play of the game, with time running out, trailing by two, the Knicks make a tremendous error. They let Sobers turn the corner, go in for the layup, and we go into overtime, tied at 106. After Red Holzman had talked to the Knicks and Jerry Sloan to the Bulls, Mike Glenn of the Knicks pounded away for the first field goal. 108-106, New York leads Chicago. But it was back to the big man, and this time, Seven foot two inch artist Gilmore did not miss. Hit the field goal working against Webster. Foul, free throw, put Chicago up by one. The defensive play of the game coming up right here. Reggie Theus reads the pass, pops out, goes the distance for Sloan and the Bulls, and they're in front 111 108. Now it's 115 114. Chicago can run out the clock in this sequence. Theus is short, ball is loose, Knicks have got to have it back. They can't come up with it. 
Chicago runs out the clock, and Dwight Jones sends one skyward and says, bring on Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics. Chicago and the Celtics, and that will start Sunday afternoon, game one of that series. All right, how about the Portland Trailblazers? They go into Kansas City. They have to win also to stay alive. It came down to the last play of the game in regulation time. Portland trailed by a point. We're going to take you inside Jack Ramsey's huddle. Here's what the Blazer coach had to say to his Portland players. Here, Michael, I want you to pop out. See if you can hit Michael direct. Michael indeed did pop out, took the pass, drove down the key. The shot was up, no good. Kansas City appeared to have won, but hold on. Joe Gashu made the guttiest call of the year in Kansas City. And Sam Lacey, what'd you think about that call? Not a heck of a lot. It's three to make two. They're down by one. Joe, I can't believe you're going to send him to the free throw line. Now, Michael Thompson at this point had scored 37. There's his 38th point. Two more free throws. If he makes one, it's all over. There's no time left on the clock. Got the ball back from Earl Strong. Misses that one, but surely he can hit this one. One more. We're still tied at 112. Nothing to it. Shoot free throws all day long, but Missy did. Who's going to calm the Blazers down? Back to Ramsey. And forget about it, the Blazers did. Nat down the middle. Then Ramsey, the rookie guard from Ohio State, took charge. Wound up with 26. Portland and Kansas City now go back to Portland, tied at a game apiece, and game three of that series will be played on Sunday afternoon. All right, we're going to come back. We've got more on the Vince Ferragamo story up in Canada. There's some other NFL players who want to go up there. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. At halftime, it's a seven-point lead for the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's take now an in-depth look at that first half of play with Rick Barry and Bill Russell. Thank you very much, Gary. And it's happened so often in NBA games, Bill. It was a game of streaks. The Lakers really came out of the starting blocks. We're going to take a look at some of the highlights of the first half and update you on what took place to get off to that great situation. They control the boards early in the ball game. Here's Kareem with the rebound. He gets it out quickly to Norm Nixon. Nixon down the court. Beautiful bounce pass into Cooper. Michael Cooper coming off the bench to start this game. Got the Lakers off and running just like Paul Weston hoped he would. Moses Malone was held in check early in the first quarter, but he eventually came back when Kareem went off to the bench. Now it's Jones in on Moses. Moses with the one-on-one -on -one move. Has the ball for a while. He sees that nobody's coming to help him. He makes the strong move to the basket. Gets Jones pump faked in the air. Gets fouled and lays it in the basket. So Moses finally started to get off late in that first quarter. But it was still the Lakers and Kareem who really controlled this game in the early stages. Here you'll see the Lakers working hard to get the ball into Kareem with Paltz on him. Paltz no match to stop him when Kareem makes his mind up to go for the sky hook. Here he is scoring the sky hook over Billy Paltz. But it was Calvin Murphy and Billy Paltz who helped to get... The Rockets back into this ball game. Here's good defense by Murphy. The missed shot top, tapped out by Paul. Murphy has it. He's off on the break. Not only did he score points, but he led them as far as steals. He led them on the break. Moses Malone lays it in. They cut it to two points the closest that the Rockets were able to come. But they were not to deny the big man, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Here's the shot by Wilkes, who had a tough time in the first half. Kareem in the right position. Takes it back up over Malone after a pump fake. A little finger roll. Gets it in the basket over Willoughby and also over Kareem. Bill, how do you think the Lakers have to play in the second half to be able to continue to hold on to this lead and win this game? Well, first of all, they're going to have a very difficult time. Right now is going to be the most difficult part of the game. They started out sky high, they leveled off, and one of the things I learned as a young guy is that one of the hardest things to do is to go out and start a game sky high and maintain that pace because it, gets, it just completely fatigues you. Now, they're going to be fighting a, a kind of fatigue the early in the third quarter. Now, they've got to be careful to get off a good start, but they have to maintain a running game. If they can let, if Houston can slow them down, then they can work uh, Moses Malone inside, and they can beat them. But for the Lakers, they've got to get out, start to get the second half, just like they started the game, running and try to get a big lead, and then hold the Rockets off. Well, let's see if the Lakers can do it in their quest to defend the world championship in the NBA. Gary? All right, Rick, as you take a look statistically at this first half of play, a couple of things that jump out at you is the fact that Moses Malone in this first half hasn't really been as productive as he was Wednesday night. The shooting statistics, the free throw percentage is not very good. The Rockets missing some. In fact, Moses Malone missed three in that first half of play. There's the total rebounds, assists, 
in that first half, Magic Johnson had five assists, even though they only scored four points. The leading rebounder in this game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with 13. The Rockets have dual leaders in Billy Paltz and Moses Malone with six each. But you got to remember, at halftime last night, Moses Malone had 23 points. He has only 12 at the halfway point in this game. Ready to go, second half, seven-point lead for Los Angeles, who has to win tonight to keep the playoffs going for themselves. And Moses Malone scores. And Bill, how many times have you talked about how important the first few minutes are of the second half? Well, the Lakers, are, when they want to execute the plays now, they've got to get inside when they execute the plays. Because if they're not running, there's Nixon. Alvin Murphy tries to stay with him. Nixon saves it, and Willoughby kicks it out to Jamal Wilkes. Robert Reed out to pick him up. Magic Johnson, only four points, as we said, five assists. Kareem. Scramble, and look who got it. Johnson scores and hits the deck. 56-49. Interesting game by Magic. He was averaging 33 points in the last three outings, only four in the first half, but contributing, as Bill said, in a very significant way. Look at the pressure on Moses. And he walked to the ball. Now, what they're doing is they're uh, going to make him pass the ball. And that's what they got to do. they got to make him pass the ball Just put it and make the Rockets shoot the outside shot rather than have him go in and get three-point plays. That first half, Moses only shot the ball nine times. As we come back to the live action, 56-49. Here's Kareem. Beautiful. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar now and, with 21 points. And Magic Johnson set that up very well because he threw the defense away. So that was opening for Kareem to take that shot to the middle. And both teams going to the horses here in the third quarter, into Kareem and into Moses. Tom Henderson. Moses tries to follow, and he's going to get away with it. No foul. Kareem going up very cautiously because he has two fouls already. 21 points for Kareem. That matches what he scored the entire game Wednesday night. Now he's looking for two more. You can see uh, he's been the MVP of this National Basketball Association six times and is a candidate for his seventh time this year. Now what he's doing the second half is the same thing that he did the first half. He set the pace. Offensively for the Lakers. given him some confidence. He now has 10 points. 62-53. Alvin Murphy's open. Cooper didn't get out there in time. Magic Johnson rips it down. The Rockets are back. Magic with Willoughby on him. Tough shot. Well, Bill Harris has to be careful now that they uh, don't lose, like they say, in track and field. They've used it so often, contact with the field. It's uh, now an 11-point lead, and the Lakers are starting to establish that running game again very effectively. Robert Reed has been relatively quiet in this game with four points. Kareem has got another rebound. Three on one. Nixon, Jamal Wolf. And right out is called now by Bill Harris and the Houston Rockets. As this game in the second half of play finds the Lakers really coming out of the shoot effectively. 66-53. You might recall Wednesday night, it was Houston who came out of the dressing room and got things rolling well. 23 points. The Lakers with six unanswered points have this advantage. Look at this matchup. Well, I'll tell you, Bill and I are just looking at some of these, and that rebound statistic is, uh, is inaccurate because Kareem had 13 in the first half, and Bill just had a little note in front of him saying that Moses does not block off the boards either, and that's why Kareem's able to get in there, and he's really been a force. And what I mean by that, Rick, is that Moses is such a good rebounder. Most good rebounders are worried about being blocked off themselves that they don't really pick up that skill of how to effectively block out. But guys like Kareem and Moses will make you wish you'd learned how to screen out. Uh, sure, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. 66-53. Eight and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. It's been all Los Angeles since the start of this second half. Tom Henderson to Calvin Murphy. Reeves. 
And we're going to have a foul on Jamal Wilkes. He looks around saying, who me? Jamal Wilkes. Wilkes committing his first personal foul. Reed will inbound the ball. That's his first personal foul. Looks like we're going to have to have some moisture taken up from the lane area as they hold this game up momentarily as Wilkes on the floor. Moisture, perspiration, sweat. Aha! There. It's sweat. That's the word. All right. <laughs> I, thought right only horse, I thought only horses sweat. No, no, these. Well, there were some horses that played the center position, I think. They really horsed the board. Great play by Nixon, Gary. What a block. Darn Nixon. Up to Magic. Magic tries to follow Willoughby. Breaks it down. Houston needs to climb back in. Everything's been going the Lakers' way in this third period. Anderson. Bill Willoughby he loves to shoot from there. He's done a very good job in that particular position. Willoughby now with six points. Other end. Now what happened, Willoughby stayed down court to try and challenge the inbounds pass. No one picked up his man, who happened to be Magic Johnson, and he took it and laid it in the basket. Boy, did he get down there in a hurry. Magic Johnson now with 10 points. 68-55. Here's Reed. Reed again with only four points. He had 13 the last time. Changed his shot. Magic is there again. He's doing it all right now. And Magic Jamal. He's playing defensive forward. He got raked a little bit on that one. <laughs> he got hit bad that time. Nixon with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Waiting for the big guy, Kareem, to get there. And he has the ball. Moses with the Jamal battle. He didn't even have a rebound on Wednesday night. He's fouled. An entirely different Los Angeles team. Hitting the boards, Jamal Wilkes, one of those who was just shut out. Robert Reed screened him out all night long Wednesday night. He did a fine job of that, and that particular play on the last one, Calvin Murphy had Magic Johnson, and it was interesting because I watched him the whole time, and you should have seen what Calvin was doing to Magic to keep him off the board. So he could get arrested out in the street if he did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did mug him pretty good, didn't cool. he? He gave him pretty good going over. Well, they got a foul, and he's discussing it with Jake O'Donnell. You gotta get your money's worth anyway, right? And I think uh, it's reasonably safe to assume that Jamal uh, is not struggling as much uh, with his shooting now. Seems to have found the groove. That shot right before the half may have helped him a little bit. Here's Moses. He walked to the ball. Now what they're doing, the Lakers are doing, is the correct way to help out the center. You gotta commit yourself right away, the way Norman Nixon does right here. You gotta, you gotta commit yourself. You can't go halfway because if you go halfway, all you do is eliminate yourself from the defense. You've got to commit yourself, but you got to be ready to commit yourself and then get back to your man. That turnover was the eighth turnover as Los Angeles now 10-2. They've outscored this Houston team in the second half. Part of the sellout crowd of 16,121. Just before we went away that last break, talking about how the Lakers have outscored the Rockets. That was 10 to 2 in the last three minutes of play. They've outscored them 16 to 8 in this third quarter. And they have a 15-point lead. The biggest lead they had in the first half was 13 points. And Houston came back in that particular situation. Magic Johnson playing with a player, is he? He traveled the ball. Houston will have it. Turnover seven now against the Los Angeles Lakers. Don Levy, Calvin Murphy, Moses Malone, Robert Reed, and Bill Willoughby. Moses Malone having a very frustrating night, and a lot of that is because Kareem has been so tough. Here's Malone losing it. Jamal Wilkes. Boy, Wilkes is playing well. Off it comes to Nixon. Cooper. And Cooper is fouled. Cooper was out of there for a while because of the three fouls. And you can see that high five again. There's a lot of that going on. There's a different feeling about this team. We talked about some of that chemistry, Bill. It's there tonight. Uh, some not some, some leadership on the part of the Lakers so far has been clearly demonstrated to me at least the way Kareem started both halves. He knows that this team is no better than, than the way he plays. All these other guys are, are great players, but like Magic Johnson, he is an all-star. The rest of the guys are good. And he has really set the pace both halves so far. And that's why they've been able to get the lead in both at the start of both 
the, the start of the game and the second half. Well, he was an unhappy man after that game Wednesday. And they say he really practiced with intensity. Don't leave him. They're only getting one shot, Bill, and that's it. There's none of that follow action that they had Wednesday night. Magic off to Jamal. And now, I think he's found the touch. I think he is back in the groove, 74-55. The only way they're going to stop that double teaming is for somebody like Mike Dunleavy or one of the other guards, Calvin Murphy, start hitting that outside shot and make the man have to come out and guard them. They are not going to let Moses beat them inside. It's obvious the way they're playing, Bill. Look at the traffic he has in there. He can hardly breathe when that ball comes inside to him. Uh, technical foul on the uh, illegal defense. Well, he, he said the magic word, though, Bill. You would have been proud of him, Jake. He said zone. He said zone? He said zone. A referee? Yes, he did. I'm going to watch him. Well, they called it against Houston Wednesday night, that bad word. And now Calvin Murphy makes it 74, 56. I think they call it on the, on the weak side. I don't I mean by weak it's side is uh, if the ball is where Kareem is standing now. And in number 24, where uh, Malone is standing, if the guy over on that side is the lane, is in the lane standing there, and not obviously guarding someone, then they call his own defense. Jake O'Donnell is straightening things out in the scorer's table, and Paul Westhead wants to know why we got that bad word called on us. The technical foul, 74-56. There's only five seconds left to go back to 10. On every technical foul, okay? Ready to go. Robert Reed will inbounds it to Willoughby. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Seven. And with six. Reed just won't go for him. And a foul. Kareem reaching in. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar coming in a personal foul. Look at the rebounds in this. Thus far, Los Angeles has 40 rebounds. And Houston, 26. They call that foul on Magic Johnson. Both he and Kareem are at it. But Magic picking up the personal foul. That's his second. Dunleavy. A lot of those shots have really been short tonight. Just off the front for this Houston team. Magic change of hand. Now, that's a sign of a good basketball player. The ability to use that right and left hand when you're going to the basket on the drive move. If you can't do that, you can't call yourself a good basketball player. He's really playing with that flair that we've seen at other times. And the United wasn't there. And the Lakers defense, they're making... Uh, the Rockets have to make that kind of shot. So they're not going to let Moses put the ball on the floor. What Kareem is doing is forcing him outside so that he has to put it on the floor to go to the basket. And they're coming so close to him that he can't put it on the floor. Reed now with six points. What can you do if you're Houston? What adjustment can you make, Bill, to get Malone open? Better hope that your guards start hitting a couple of those open jump shots. Uh, what you do is you, you take the guy that he's got, that is double teaming and put his man and have him go baseline. There's Moses. They got it to him, but all of a sudden Kareem was there, a block. And a foul, a basket will count. Well, they felt there should have been a walk on this play. Here's Moses making the move. Here he goes up for the shot. Now, right there, he threw he it up. He cannot get his own rebound. Now, what they said, though, was the ball was tipped. Here he gets it back, and he picked up the foul. The call going against Kareem this time. But it didn't look like Kareem ever touched the ball. Now, if that being the case, it would have been a walk. But they say Paul Mahal, the official, said that the ball was touched by Kareem. And it sure didn't look that way. Oh, look at Kareem go up for that one. I, I think he won. He says, I'm going to get the rebound, guys. I got this. Oof. Three fouls on big Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 16-point lead for the Lakers. 4.14 to go, third quarter. Magic, Moses out on him. Moses Malone trying to stay with Magic Johnson, and we have a first on Magic who pushed off on Malone as he was positioned for rebound. That is really a bad call. Magic had his hands on the man. He saw he was getting the rebound. He took him off and started to run down the court, and he called the foul on him. Nevertheless, it's his third. Four team fouls now on the Lakers. In a little foul difficulty. Jabbar with three, Cooper with three, and Johnson with three. Still almost four minutes to go in this third stanza. Give and go, Dunleavy gotten down the middle like that very often tonight. No, but Kareem has really been concentrating on Moses. That time he stayed with him and enabled Dunleavy to make the cut to the hoop wide open. Nixon. Well, he pops it now. Houston trying to make a move. Calvin Murphy. He is fouled by Wilkes, and Murphy got hit on the side of the head. He's sitting down. He's hurt. Shaking it off. 
Now he gets up. I guess he's going to take a seat and watch this one for a while. Wilkes committee the personal foul. That's his second. And at the line, Calvin Murphy. Now this is a down period for the Lakers. This is where they have to really fight. Did you see? He missed the free throw. I wasn't looking. I was looking down for a second. I, oof. That's hard to believe. That really is. You know, in that string, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the time he hit 78 in a row, he had 44 in a row and missed two, and then came back and hit 78 in a row. Well, I'll tell you one thing. when You you don't mind, you don't hate missing when you're a good free throw shooter, but if you're going to miss, that's the time to miss when you have three chances to make two. And he converts them. 76, 64. The crowd sensing that Houston may be making a move with 3.23 to go in this third quarter. Hulk's reaching in. It'll be off of Hulk. Los Angeles. We have a substitution coming in. Jim Jones. Jones will come in, and Magic Johnson will catch a breather. 11 seconds on the shot clock as they inbounds the ball. Nixon up to Jim Jones. Jones with a power move on Malone. And Malone brings it down, and now they have a chance to cut it to 10. Dunleavy, Billy Pulse. The Whopper brings it back out to Dunleavy. Calvin Murphy looking for the shot. Look at that ball handling. Dunleavy. It's a 10-point game. That Levy with four points, 76-66. Nixon. Cooper, he just saved it. To Kareem. Back to Nora Nixon. And rebound by Willoughby, and they can cut it to eight. This Houston team, a very gritty team. Houston now with 10 straight unanswered points. It's amazing how they would able to sneak back in this one. It looked like everything going for the Lakers. Alone, Cooper with a steal. Don Levy back, broke it up. Cooper wanted the foul and he didn't get it. Willoughby, off to Calvin Murphy. And we're gonna have a foul on Moses Malone. That's a big miss as far as the Lakers are concerned because Calvin usually makes that little running flip shot. There you see you take it, the ball misses, and there's Moses reaching back over Kareem to pick up the foul. But if that one had gone in, the Lakers would have uh, had that 10-point lead cut down to 8. Anytime you know, Bill, you get under 10, anything can happen. It's a 10-point game. Houston, in the last three minutes, has outscored this Los Angeles team 10 to nothing with 2.08 still left in the third quarter. Some pressure in the backcourt now by Houston. They drop off. Calvin Murphy on Nixon. Dunleavy on Cooper. Two minutes to play in the third period. Houston was down by as many as 17 in this second half. Blocked by Moses Malone. And again, Houston has a chance to whittle it down to eight points. This is like a carbon copy of the first half, the way the Lakers came out of the gate. They got caught. Here's the play down the other end just a moment ago into Jones. Moses waits for him to go up. Once he goes up, he makes the block. It's nice. an eight-point game now. Murphy with 19. That matched his output of Wednesday. That's going to be off of Billy Pulse. Kareem arguing. He thought he was interfered with. He wanted the foul. They'll have 13 seconds on the shot clock when the end bounds it. 76 6 hit. Calvin Murphy. Now they can cut it to six. Well, Bill, you said you got to worry about a lapse like this. There's a steal by Jones. Big steal. He anticipated that well. Nixon. Jamal Wilkes. He's fouled by Dunleavy. That's his fourth. And that's only the fourth team foul on the Rockets. They're not into the penalty situation. So it'll be two shots for Wilkes. And Mike's upset with himself because of the pass. He had Pulse wide open, but he never saw Jones, who was screened off on the play. And it was too long a pass to make for a bounce pass in that situation. The ball takes a long time to get there when you throw a bounce pass. Two shots coming now for Jamal Wilkes. Again, Dunleavy with four fouls. We have some foul difficulty. Three for Johnson, three for Abdul-Jabbar, and three for Cooper. And then, of course, the four by Dunleavy and three by Willoughby. Jones also with three. 78-68, back to a 10-point lead. A minute 12 to go, third quarter. Houston after trailing by 17 in this third. Climbing right back in it. Billy Paul. In a big hand, holding the ball, and Nixon with a steal. 
Michael Cooper. That was a tough shot he made there. That was a tough shot under the basket. He had to lean back, but Cooper got the play on a nice play by Nixon, who made a super behind the back dribble to get out of traffic and start the break. Two very important turnovers for Houston. Calvin Murphy for three times down the floor, and Houston losing some of his momentum momentarily. What a shot what by a Nixon. Shot by Nixon. Now, at that time, Nixon tripped and lost his balance on his move. He had nothing else to do with the ball. Threw it up. Threw it up. Hit the backboard, two points, and the Lakers have got it back to 14. What a move by Nixon. There's your time remaining in this third quarter. Calvin Murphy, out to Dunleavy. Houston needed that one. 82-70, 12 point game, seven seconds. You see the time, wide open Wilkes. Norm Nixon, with right. 10 assists on Wednesday with a big assist there. And that's what they're doing so well, that transition, because uh, on that basket made, they made an uh, excellent fast break. A 14-point lead with 12 minutes to go. The Lakers try to pull even in the series. The NBA on CBS will continue after this word from your local station. The preceding announcement was furnished by the National Basketball Association. As a reminder, be sure and stay tuned for the MVP at the conclusion of the game. Rick and Bill, let's go back and take a look at that remarkable play by Norm Nixon. We'll look at it at this time. Well, here he goes. He makes the move against Mike Dunleavy, and right there, he loses his balance. He has nothing to do but throw the ball up in the air, just drifting away to the sideline, and manages to still control it and get it in the basket. A great individual effort by Norm Nixon. We start the fourth quarter. 14-point lead for the Lakers, and Jones makes it 16. Jim Jones. Jones with four points. He did not start this game. That was the change they made early. But he's playing some significant minutes in the second half. And surprisingly enough, that was Nixon's first basket of the second half. Here's Moses Malone. Oh, is he having to work? What a shot that was. Jones thought he pushed off on the ball. Let's watch Moses again on this play. He just jumps right back into Jones once he gets this. Jones battling, give him a little shove right there. Now Moses just goes up. Jones stands there, and he just jumps right back into Jim. No foul on it. 22 points for Moses Malone. But that shows you how desperate he's had to be to get any shots off. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Jamal Wilkes against Reed. Weak side. Jones with the rebound. Reed brings it down. Almost coming up with a steal was Magic Johnson, who led the NBA this year in steal. Just edging Michael Ray Richardson of the New York Knicks. 86-72. Billy Pulse. Magic. He controls it in. It's off. Moses Malone, Los Angeles will have the ball. Billy Pulse has seven points. He has not scored in the second half. He had 15 very significant points on that win Wednesday. In fact, as Rick mentioned earlier, he really got this team started right. Yeah. The level. Nixon is back. Allen level. Calvin Murphy, beautiful pass to Pulse. And that will count a foul coming up. Magic. Let's take a look at the play again. Here comes Allen Level, pulls up, he sees the traffic inside, dishes it to Murphy. Murphy sees an opening, he takes it to the basket, draws the defense to him. Magic Johnson, there goes Pauls up for the shot. I'd like to know where Magic Johnson fouled him. He didn't do anything. <laughs> Well, uh, he Rick. got his fourth there's foul. Been a few, there's been a few phantom fouls out here this evening. Hey, I just was told by Bob Center, our producer, that Magic Johnson has set a new career high in rebounds tonight. He has 17. I think what's so remarkable about that is even though he's only scored 12 points, he's contributed elsewhere. And there's one of those areas, 17. Rebound, 86-75. And now... Inside, Jake O'Donnell's body, Billy Paltz, a little body contact in there. Billy Paltz now has committed his second foul. Cooper will bring it in. The Kareem. Norm Nixon, Levels trying to stay tough with him. Moses Malone with a rebound. Calvin Murphy. Murphy. The level and Magic Johnson with another steal. Played a complete game tonight. Off it goes to Cooper. Cooper. That 
Magic Johnson, he is a catalyst in the true sense of the word. He just creates things that time at both ends of the floor. And that's the Lakers game right there. A steal and three on, four on three. Alvin Murphy, that high jumper. Malone thought he was pushed off the ball by Jones. Cooper. The level reaching in and they'll set it up. Nice save by Cooper up to Nixon. The ball is just flying around. That's a great save on that part by Michael Cooper. Got it at Nixon. Nixon went up for the shot. And so many players, when they go up to shoot it, there's no way they're going to pass the basketball. But Nixon saw Johnson open in the middle. Great ball movement. Easy basket for the Lakers. Magic with 14 points. 90, 75. Robert Reed. Reed, who had some significant shots for him in that first game. Reed has been shooting very well the last nine games of the regular season. He averaged 23 points a game. Well, the, above his seasonal average of 15 a game. Offensive foul! Offensive foul on Jim Jones. No, Kareem. They call him Kareem in their transit position. That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with his fourth foul then. Fourth foul on Kareem. 8.44 left to be played in this game. The preceding announcement was furnished by the National Basketball Association and the Rockets, the Houston Rocket cheerleaders. And this game has really been going along with the team that's established the inside game. Right now, after three quarters, it's 24 inside baskets inside that 12th area for L.A., only 15 for the Rockets. Level tries to start him out well, and Magic Johnson with his 18th rebound of this game. He's already set a career high. I just think it's really interesting how his scoring has dropped down in this game, but everything else has picked up. Three of foul. Both Malone and Pulse is there. Look at the fire in Kareem. He slaps his hands and goes to the free throw line. There's Magic controlling the offense once again for the Lakers. Setting things up. Spots the situation inside. The front by Pulse. Leaves Kareem open. Malone over to go pick him up. Basket. Chance of the three-point play. Basket didn't have to win. Billy Pulse picking up the foul. That's his third. Interesting here, Gary, fast breaks, but we talked about the Lakers getting the running game going. They had 11 fast breaks in the first half, only 13 points off them. They got 11 fast breaks in that third quarter for 18 points. They really got the running game in high gear in that third quarter, even better at the start of the game. And that's that tempo that Bill keeps talking about. The tempo, the Lakers' tempo, was a very familiar one here tonight, as opposed to the first game. What they're making the, the Rockets do, they're trying, instead of when they try to feed them alone, is make, him, make the outside shot. Now they're going to have to make those. I think he can make a few. Well, they, that's, the, that's the kind of shot that the Lakers want him to take, that they're making him take, is the outside shot instead of having Malone going for uh, the close in shots in a three point play. 21 points for Calvin Murphy. Kareem trying to give it the magic. Here comes Murphy. Level is loose. Oh, he missed the stop. But Reed is there. Oh, wait a minute, Jake O'Donnell, we may have offensive goaltending, what? No, there was a foul before Reed went up at the second time. On his first effort, he was fouled, and Jim Jones picked up the foul. We'll watch it again on the replay. Now, Level tries to go up to the dunk, maybe to get his team pumped up. He just doesn't get quite high enough, hits the front of the rim. Now, watch Reed here on this shot. There's Jones right there. He hits him on the arm, and that was what caused Reed to miss that shot. Jake O'Donnell, the trailing official, picked up the foul. And that's four fouls now on Jones. Kareem with four, Jones with four. Two shots coming for Robert Reed. Robert Reed, he's been shooting about 76% from the line. This young man led this team in steals. Vastly improved, and now we have a technical foul. Call on Jim Jones, I believe. Well, I think what Jim Jones probably did as Calvin gets ready to shoot the free throw, you can see him complaining, is he probably said something about what he thought of the call, Bill, but he said it to Kareem. And, <laughs> and he said it loud enough to Kareem, though, so that the officials could hear it. That's an old ploy you try to get away with. <laughs> you know, Jones got a technical Wednesday, too. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's a, a great one for using des descriptive adjectives. Uh, I think, that, yes, uh, we can attest to that. Descriptive yeah. what? <laughs> Level out to Calvin Murphy. Moses Malone. This is what's happening. The Lakers have not been able to put the Rockets away, and they're hanging tough, and you cannot afford to do that when you're in this mini-series. Reed almost came away with that ball. 
Mark Landsberger is in. The basket will count, and he's fouled. And that is a very, very big play, Bill. Right. That's a, they needed that bad. Things are starting to turn around in favor of the Rockets. Now watch the play coming up here. Here's the shot. Reed runs over to help out. Nobody's going to screen Landsberger off there. You see he has a free pass to the basket. Gets fouled, and the ball drops in the basket. Foul is on Malone. His third, third team foul on the Rockets. Big play for the Lakers. Well, it's a perfect team for Mark Landsberger to be playing on. Comes in and plays the role of a rebounder. In fact, he was a leading rebounder in the NBA for non-starters as far as minutes played. Average one rebound about every two and a half minutes. Alvin Murphy is fouled. Uh, Murphy has really played well. Tonight. Yes, he's played an exceptional game. He's really been the, the man who's ignited this Rocket comeback uh, both times. And on that particular play, he was able to go to his right, Bill, yes, and drive right down the middle. Just like we said, you should never allow a man to go to his right at strength and go right down the middle. The Laker defense was very slow reacting that time. Alvin Murphy, who missed one free throw to the shock of everyone, gets that one. Norm Nixon's going to come in. Cooper will check out. Alvin Murphy with 22 points. Now with 23 after that last free throw. Malone has 24. Kareem has 25. Those are the three high point men at this juncture of the game. 95-85, 10 point game again. Seven minutes, still a lot of time left in this one. Houston would like to close this series out. Not have to go back to the forum on Sunday. The world champions want to remain as world champions. Mark Landsberger, back to Magic, six seconds on the shot clock. Level was up there and level, Give him the foul. Well, again, in a situation like that, with the clock running down and the type of shot that Magic was going to take, as we watch it again in the replay, I feel that you've got to let the man shoot that and beat you with a touchdown. Well, he, was, uh, he was just going for the foul then, obviously. He was, I don't think he had any idea of making the shot. I mean, that level's trying to block Magic Johnson. You see him hit him on the arm. I mean, here's a man that has given up five inches, and he still tries to block his shot. The Lakers still by 10. The NBA on CBS will continue after this word from your local station. We stand corrected on that last play. That was Calvin Murphy with the foul instead of Level. Well, they certainly had their choice because as you can see by the replay, Alvin Level beat him to death on that play. Where Calvin Murphy got it, it must have been the same thing like Willoughby, Bill, reaching in and just picking up a little tacky foul. Well, that's Calvin's second foul. But Magic will be going to the free throw line with 647. Now, Bill, I like to always ask you this. They have 10 points is the difference now. They're in pretty good position with the time remaining. What kind of levels do they need to seek right now? Well, now what Houston would have to do is uh, they would have to take over control of the game. At this point, they do not have control of the game. You know, for their comeback, they're going to have to take control of the game. they got plenty of time. If they can get a run, make it, uh, uh, a nice run at them, they, can, they have uh, plenty of time but they're going to have to seize control of the game. Magic Johnson missing that free throw. Moses Malone. And Malone now with 26. And he's starting to mount the points. At halftime, he had only 12. Now he has 26. And the Rockets are starting to get back right into this basketball game. The Lakers seem to be standing around a little bit. Boy, they're showing you a lot of heart, this Houston team. They beat back the Lakers all game long in the forum. Here they've had to play catch-up all the way, but with the same intensity as Paul Westhead seems to be concerned, as he well should be. They played three times here in the regular season, and Los Angeles won two of them. Kareem, all kinds of difficulty getting that shot off. Pulse with a rebound. Good defense that time by the Rockets. They just swarmed Kareem, made him take the jumper. Alvin Murphy, the Rockets would like to cut it even closer now. Back door, Malone. Look out. Moses Malone with 28. And all of a sudden, it's a seven-point game. 5.51 left to go, 96-89. This is playoff action. Kareem blocked by Moses. Landsberger blocked by Reed. What defense with the Steelers level? Level and Murphy. Alvin level is a Magic will back it out now. The Lakers, all of a sudden, with a 10-point lead, cut in half. Kareem with Paltz on him. Calvin Murphy reaches in. The foul was called. And this crowd did not like that one at all. As you can 
no doubt here. Boy, all of a sudden that 10-point lead was whittled in half, wasn't it? Well, that's what they have to do, get inside with Malone. And the Lakers have been able to cut that off by double teaming. And now they've stopped double teaming. Three fouls on Calvin Murphy. That is the 15th foul on Houston. The penalty is in now. Oh, there's two very important free throws. Magic missed one a moment ago. And the Lakers did the same thing in the game they lost in L.A. the other night. That's what happened Wednesday night. Fifteen to go. Houston clawing their way back, trailing by as many as 17 points in the third quarter. Robert Reed broken up. He's fouled. That's Robert Reed. Going to be the fourth foul, I believe, on Magic Johnson. It's going to be five on him. Five on Magic. Excuse me. So big problem for Magic here with still five minutes to play. They're giving him a shooting foul on this. I don't really know. If, I don't really think Robert was in the act of shooting when he got fouled, but it's a break for the Rockets. Do you leave Magic in now with 5.06 and five fouls or get him out of there for a while? That's a difficult one. They need him now, and he's going to have to play with the fouls. It's a four-point game. Could be a three-point game. The players tried to talk to themselves. They can't even hear because of the crowd. Believe it or not, it could be a three-point game. This Houston team, what a story they have been. 96, 93, timeout is called by Los Angeles, and look at this crowd. Listen to this crowd. The Houston Rockets, three points behind with 5.06 left to be played on the fourth. The world champion Lakers in difficulty. Leading by three, you see the time remaining. The Rockets trail by as many as 15 in this fourth quarter. They've had eight straight unanswered points to climb within three points. Now the Lakers most likely will not be able to get into, back into that running game uh, tonight. They may get a couple of breaks, but they won't, they won't be able to get into that running game. They're gonna have to make every possession count now, but they're gonna have to, they can't throw the ball away, they got to. Nixon. Or Nixon with a big basket. I tell you, he was fouled on that play, and there was no call. He got a big break. The ball hit and curled in the basket. He was hit right on the arm by Murphy. And Jake O'Donnell is indicating he saw that. There's the foul difficulty. The big one, of course, Magic with five. Kareem with four. Or Nixon with 18 points. A steal by the Lakers. Cooper. Level reaching in. Magic lost it. That was Level. It did an excellent job defensively. And look at the hustle by Cooper. You don't think this is a playoff time. I don't know, you guys. What a year this is. The playoff situation is fantastic. You saw what Chicago and New York did tonight. Portland and Kansas City. And now this one. Well, they can get any more intense. 98, 93, 4, 11 to go. Reed out to Calvin Murphy. Murphy tries to get it to Malone and does. And Malone puts it away. 98, 95 is Dell Harris. Still sensing they might be able to end it here. Malone with 30. And it's amazing. Seems like those points have just kind of snuck up on you. He had 12 in the first half. Nixon, Murphy on him. Six seconds on the shot clock. Four. Magic. Kareem! Oh, what a play by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, Westhead has to be thankful for the big guy there. That's why you're supposed to box him out. 27 points for Kareem. 30 for Malone. It's been an amazing one-on-one -on -one struggle for the second time in a row. Calvin Murphy can't get in against Kareem. Kareem chases him out of there. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Five. That was kicked. Violation. So they get a new 24. Now good defense by the Lakers here. Could force the Rockets to have to take a very difficult shot. And at this stage of the game, every shot is crucial. That resets a fresh 24 seconds on the shot clock. We have 310 left. Calvin Murphy. Murphy makes it a three-point game. Well, they got a break. They call a force on the kick. That really helped him to get that new 24. And Calvin hit a tough shot. But for him, it's not that difficult when he's on target. 26 points for Calvin Murphy. 255. And that's charging on Magic. He's fouled out. Magic Johnson is fouled out of the ball game. Johnson called for charging. 
He is out at six fouls. Robert Reed bodied up on him pretty good. Magic looks like he may have hooked him with the right arm when he made the spin move. Let's see if we can pick it up. There's Reed bumping. Now watch his right arm, see if he hooks a little bit. Right here. Well, he makes the spin move. He puts his arm around. He didn't hook him, but he did bump into him. But hey, they're not going to change the line. Let's face it. He's taking his time retreating. Paul Westhead's going to Jim Jim Jones in. Magic fouls out with two minutes and 53 seconds left. And look at his face. Boy, that would be a tough way to end your season, wouldn't it? And that's exactly what the situation is. Did Houston win this game? The Lakers season is coming to an end. But right now, Los Angeles with a three-point lead. Two minutes and 53 seconds left in the game. Utter bedlam here on the summit in Houston. One thing you have to remember, Gary, is still the fact that the Lakers have a three-point lead. The Rockets still have to catch them. Right. They still they. As long as you got the lead, but it's going to be hard to keep it now. And of course, that's as opposed to Wednesday when they were having to play catch-up all the time, and you're exactly right. Let's see who's going to come in. Jim Jones took the warm-up off a moment ago. Let's talk about the loss of this guy. Magic Johnson leads with 15 points. We had him at one time with 18 rebounds. But what leadership they're going to lose now. I don't think he wants the season in now. All right, Jones is in, Kareem is in, Jamal Wilk, Michael Cooper, Norm Nixon. Two minutes, 48 seconds left in the game. Three-point lead. Looks like that might be a one-point lead there for a moment. Dell Harris frustrated, obviously. Wait, that's like the man you got to go to. He didn't like the shot. Too deep that time in this crucial situation. He wanted it into Malone, as he rest assured of that. Malone with 30. Calvin Murphy with 26. Now, two and a half minutes. Look at Westfall. He's trying to get them to move off the ball, to move away from the ball. Nixon, one-on-one -on -one with Calvin Murphy. Six seconds on the shot clock. And the basket's good. The foul on Murphy. What a big play by Nixon. He just took Calvin Murphy one-on-one. -on -one. They isolated to the left side. And a big, big hoop for the Lakers. And Nixon's made two big shots down this stretch. 102 to 97. Calvin Murphy now with four personal fouls. There is Calvin Murphy. Five foot ten is what they list him, but he's closer to five eight or five nine. There's your score. 103, 97. Two minutes, 11 seconds left. If the Lakers lose, it's all over. Houston would like to pull it out. If not, they'll go back to the forum on Sunday in game three. Tough shot. Moses Malone kicked out by Jamal Wilkes. Well, Calvin, again, a very difficult shot in that situation, and Moses made a valiant effort to try and get it up into the basket, so the Rockets with two, well, not really good shots, Bill. It's really hurt them. A six-point lead for Los Angeles. Excellent. Jamal Wilkes. Moses timed that perfectly. He seemed to anticipate that ball was going to hit up there an extra bounce. Robert Reed intercepted by Cooper. Cross court. That is a bad pass to throw in that situation. Cross court traffic. Michael Cooper very alert. Picks it off. So a big turnover for the against the Rockets. 120 left in the game. Reed against Wilkes. That is a big basket. Well, this think? I'm going to get it right. Yes. This time the barn door is getting ready to close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what. Well, that, that was a key. That, that was a key basket. They needed that. Because with a minute, uh, 14 seconds ago, they can just practically hold the ball the rest of the way. They only need maybe one more basket if they're going to play good defense. There's the vital statistics. 1.14 left. The Lakers, after having a cut to three, now have a 105-97 lead. And at the conclusion of this game, we're going to update you on the playoff picture and where we'll be covering the playoffs on Sunday. I think right now, in this particular ball game, uh, there's one man who is very happy with the way things have gone in the last 35 seconds, and that's Magic Johnson. Because when you have to sit on that bench and you can't be in there to contribute, that is like a very lonely and hopeless feeling. Look at him. He had 15 points, a career-high 18 rebounds, 8 assists. He hit 50% of his shots, 7 of 14. And he's out of the game now via the foul route with 1.14 left. 
Robert Reed will inbound it to Murphy. And a couple of big steals in this game on cross-court passes that the Rockets tried to implement, could not. Reed on the move. He's fouled by Jamal Wilkes. Well, they still have the time here because they got Murphy. Well, actually, three-point shot is a little outside of Murph, Murph's range. He can get him in there if he gets his feet set just right, but Dunleavy can shoot. I don't know if they bring Dunleavy in the game right now. Of course, the man I have to bring up that we haven't seen at all, Rudy Tomjanovich. Uh, he, of course, hasn't played one minute in this particular series, and uh, I guess they said that he had an Achilles well, yeah, tendon problem. Harris said he has an but Achilles I asked him about it. He said he's fine. He said he doesn't understand why he's not playing. Well, the coach said he's hurt, so I don't know, but he hasn't played. Of course, he's an excellent outside shooter. Now, the Rockets are doing the same thing the Lakers did uh, the other night. Uh, he just missed a free throw. And when you're trying to come back and down the last two minutes, those free throws, you can't miss them. And it's, all, it's not a three for two. It's only a one and one. There's a good free throw shooting team. They had five players shoot over 80% this year. That time they only got one of them. 105, 98. One minute left in the game. Steal by Malone. Malone's going to take it himself. The basket will count. And a foul on Jim Jones. Well, I want to see that one again. Uh, Jim Jones can't believe it. Paul Westhead can't believe it. A lot of other people can't believe it. And here comes Moses on a nice play by Willoughby who deflects the ball. He picks it off. Now let's see if Jones gets his feet set. Moses just takes right in. He's set right now. Oh, he moves over. He moved his left foot a little bit on the play. It's good call by the officials. Jones moved the left foot. That's a block. And that was the fifth foul on Jim Jones. 105-100. Penalty in on both ends of the side. Both of them with five fouls. Is now the pressure by Houston. But they missed two free throws, Gary, which really hurt them. The Cooper, this is where they miss a guy like Magic. Four-point game. Jones! And Jones was determined on that one, wasn't he? Hey, there's no doubt, Bill. <laughs> he wanted that sucker in bad. Look at him. Are they happy? They're going to be glad to get out of this state. Let's watch it again. Jones, is, he's a little upset about the way things have gone. Here he gets this ball. Moses come over, fouls him, and he is not to be denied this time. That puts the game basically out of reach as far as the Rockets are concerned. If he can hit this and put them up by seven, they've got to go for the three-pointers if they have any chance at all. Another one coming with a penalty. That's four fouls on Moses Malone. But he needs to make this free throw. I'm surprised not getting the three-point shooters in the game right now. Get Murphy and Dunleavy in the game. Give them a chance to shoot that three-pointer or have any chance at all. Well, they're going to take the timeout. Probably bring him in right now. Dell Harris jumped up. He must have been listening to you as he gets the timeout with 41 seconds left. A six-point lead for Los Angeles. Boy, if it doesn't end here, what a third game we'll have Sunday from the Los Angeles Forum. The Lakers still need another basket, at least. Uh, at least. 41 seconds left. Well, Bill Russell, what's Houston got to do to try to pull this one out? Well, they're going to have to go, either go for a three-point or go inside. They have enough time to go inside and go for the steal again because they're putting the full court pressure. Uh, this is where the Lakers are going to miss uh, Magic on the uh, bring the ball up because uh, they're double team Nixon, who's the best ball handler and the best free throw shooter out there. And so what they're trying to do is make him give it up. We need to shoot it in the next eight seconds. We can hear Del Harris. Del Harris has got to shoot in the next eight they seconds. They want to get it up in eight seconds because then they know they can get two possessions of the Lakers one if they can stop them again get two three-point goals, they're back into this basketball game, and they're going to go for the three-pointer. Calvin Murphy, you can figure he'll be looking for the shot. He's outside. Dunleavy is in, and good outside shooter. Dunleavy, steal by Cooper. Well, you could see that one happening. You could see the eyes of Cooper. Two big steals by Cooper down the stretch, and that's going to do it. 109 to 101 with 33 seconds. It's going to be a game three from the forum, Dunleavy. Murphy, three-pointer. Oh. See, if he gets set, he can shoot that shot before that turnover was so costly, and especially in view of Murph hitting that three-pointer. Michael Cooper being chased and fouled by Calvin Murphy with 18 seconds left. Well, what, what happened on the inbounds pass to explain? 
Mike Dunley set a pick and he came out and it's a big steal by Cooper. Now he was open when he made his move. The ball should have been in the air at that time. You cannot wait for the man to get completely open on his move before you throw it because that gives the defensive man a chance to react and intercept just like Cooper did. Plus the fact that Cooper did not go for the pick. He knew the pick, it looked like a pick to go inside normally. It wasn't for the three point play. He would have had to go the other way. But as it is, he just played for the three point play. He, he was gonna let Murphy go inside and get a two pointer. Michael Cooper, who started actually at the forward spot here tonight. And now a timeout is called again by Houston with 18 seconds. 111 to 104. Well, if we go to a third game Sunday, I would imagine there's going to be a lot of adjustments as Moses Malone had to make some adjustments. Let's take a look now at some of the men that really worked hard tonight in this exciting game here from the Summit in Houston. Our producer, Robert Stenner. Who? Our director, Tony Burnham. It was on loan to us, I guess, for this particular game. Yeah, straight in from Amityville. <laughs> Rick Sharp, the associate <laughs> producer, our feature producer, Mike Burks, our associate director, Rich Nelson, and Doug Fleetham, the field <laughs> operations engineer. I thought, wasn't he substituting for the Emmy Award winning director? That uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to stay friends with Tony. Uh, hey, listen, I asked for this stat. I was wondering, Los Angeles had 11 steals in this game tonight. Two of them, big ones at the end by Cooper. Well, what they did, they went to their quick lineup. And, and what's good about the Lakers quick lineup, that's with Magic and Jamal as a forward, actually, with Cooper and Nixon as a guard. They have a great lateral movement. Let's listen to no down timeout. there. That's it. No timeout. All right, try to get it out there. Three. Carol Dawson, the assistant coach, asked him before the game how he felt. He said, real nervous. They're going to be a little more nervous Sunday, I believe. Yes. You know what, the, with 18 seconds to go, your team behind about seven points in a situation like this, uh, you really should tell the guys to make sure they don't miss the plane. Which reminds me, I want you to be on that plane early in the morning as we go back to Los Angeles. Are you sure that the Lakers are going to win, huh? Well, well it's not over yet. The game is never over until the final buzzer. <laughs> oh, I had to get it in. I had to say it. <laughs> Houston has never led in this game, an uphill battle all the way. Cooper reaching in there, and they're going to reset it again as he gets a warning from Paul Mahalik with 18 seconds left in this game. So it'll be game three to decide this miniseries, the winner of it playing San Antonio. Rebound Nixon. Nixon will try to kill the remaining time. Willoughby reaches in. He got a jump ball out of it. <laughs> jump ball. Will never stop. Eight seconds left. Well, we're going to take a look at the playoff picture as it stands as of tonight, the conclusion of this game. And the way these playoffs are going, it is really going to be something. Well, they've had a real battle. This is going to be a battle in, uh, in L.A. on Sunday because, let's face it, the Rockets had possession of the ball three points down. What they did is they had two bad shots they took. They didn't go in the basket for them. The Lakers capitalized on it, came down and scored, and that was your ball game. But the Rockets hung tough, and the Lakers were not able to blow them out. Lakers making adjustments in this game. It really paid off. That's a three-pointer by Dunleavy. Three Reed tries to follow. Jones, Reed again, changes the shot. And with one second, 111 to 106. And that's going to be the final. And so the world champion, Los Angeles Lakers, are still very much alive. They are now even in this mini-series with the Houston Rockets at one game each, and they'll settle the issue on Sunday. I'm putting my vote in first. I vote for Norm Nixon. Norm Nixon, MVP. I'm going to go with Kareem. Uh, I agree with you.